with Lynn Moth Creations and I am back and I've got a big box. <laughs> Hello and welcome if you guys are new to my channel. My name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxing. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. All right. So, hey guys, <laughs> let's do this. So I've got my sacred say... Mm -hmm. That's what I got today. It's pretty much what I have every day because I can't speak English. Uh, no, I have my sacred space crate for March 2022 because today's like the first. Like, I got this shit quick, y'all. Okay, let me unbox it. It's bigger than normal. <laughs> I don't know what that face is, but anyways. <laughs> it's a bigger box than normal, so I'm super excited. Like, I'm like, I'm excited no matter what. But anyway, um, guys, I'm drinking water. Hey, water. Can I be an affiliate with you? Water. Water. I already had a monster today and like um, I would like another one but like if I start doing it now like I'm not gonna make it through my shift tonight guys oh, I'm gonna have a heart attack all right so sacred space grape perfect sacred earth is our um, theme today all right so it says oh, okay I guess that box isn't in the frame very good our earth is a sacred space of ever renewing life. The largest part of a lot of our practices practices is honoring and connecting with our great mother. She birthed and gave us everything that we need to sustain our human bodies. Everything from uh, food, water, medicine, air, and companionship. When her land is destroyed by fire, flood, or humankind, she simply just replenishes the land with new growth, new trees, and birth of wildlife. She is truly remarkable. As spring equinox approaches, look, I, um, can you guys see this? I put my Ostara plaque. This is actually from, um, Sacred Space Crate. So I changed it. I had Yule up still. <laughs> um, I forgot to put my in bulk one because I think I have an in bulk one. I think. Anyways, but I changed it to my Ostara, so yay. Um, as spring equinox approaches, and actually, um, my granddaughter was born on Ostara. It is an exciting time to spend time bonding with her. It is easy to bond with her out in nature, but takes a little more effort to bring her energy into your home. This box was curated to give you items that will honor and connect you with the great mother in your home, sacred space. Wonderful. And speaking of outdoors, oh my God. Um, I went and got my hair did. I got my hair did. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually eating my hair. Like, <laughs> you know, there's like stuff everywhere from getting it done but oh my god it's like 74 degrees outside i think it snowed last week here fucking midwest anyway oh look at our march calendar we got pregnant lady she's giving me some empress vibes very nice so this is our calendar for march uh, let's look at this moon in the zodiac calendar this is a monthly calendar that will be included in every month's box many of us form a lot of our practices around the cycles of the moon we do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies it is especially important in understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly the artwork on this month's calendar was designed by samantha trick um, on Instagram and Facebook, she is at schmoozy, S-H-M-O-O-S-E-Y. And then it says, please note, so on the back it has um, uh, the moon in the zodiac. It's important to note that the moon in the zodiac explanations on the back of your calendar is not your personal zodiac sign reading. It is an explanation of how the energy from the moon in the zodiac affects everyone's energy regardless of what your personal zodiac sign is. Therefore, the readings remain the same. So basically... Um, the new moon is in Pisces, so um, the moon in Pisces, it says your psychic awareness is heightened during this time. Great time for divination and journaling your thoughts. Look for messages in your dreams as well. So the, um, the new moon is actually tomorrow, and it says, which I'm not sure what time zone she's in, but it says it um, the new moon is in Pisces at 1135 
a.m. tomorrow. There's that. All right. Oh, I don't know what to get. Okay, so we have a smoke bundle. Look at this pretty one. There's all kinds of things on there. Mmm. Very nice. I think, I, you know what, maybe I should do that. My um, my boyfriend gave me roses, you know, for Valentine's Day, and I'm drying them, and maybe I'll wrap them in a smoke bundle and do some, something with it. Anyways, all right. Flower smoke bundle. This beautiful smoke bundle is made with sage, lavender, and garden flowers. You can use this smoke bundle to clear out the old or negative energy out of your sacred spaces and bring in love, acceptance, and positivity. Also an offering to Mother Earth. Do not burn these unattended. Not only is it a fire hazard, but it's important that your energy remains connected during your burning ritual. Very good. Put that over there. All right, then we have some tea. The Nurturer Ritual Tea. Got that. The Nurturer Tea. This ritual tea was blended with the intention of giving you... Okay, I keep thinking that this box, because I've got the box like right here, but it's like in the way, but... Okay, well there you go. <laughs> um, intention of giving you nurturing and healing gifts from the Great Mother. After your grounding ritual, sit back, relax, and savor the deliciousness of Mother Earth. Made with hibiscus flowers, orange peel, lemon balm, cloves, lavender, licorice root, and sweetened with stevia leaf. Add only a half a teaspoon to eight ounce water and steep for four minutes or according to taste. Lurverler. So I was saying lovely. Lurverly. Lurverly. <laughs> water, again, I'd like to be an affiliate. Okay. Incense, we've got Enchanted Garden. Incense. Oh, I can already smell it. Oh, that smells good. And for those of you who like incense, hey, jump on over to my witchy store on Etsy. It's called Luna Moth Creations Co. Just like it is here. The link below is down there. I'm also selling incense now. Mmm. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's sparkly. Look at sparkly. Oh, that smells good. We're going to burn some tonight. All right, let's find out about our incense. Enchanted Garden Incense Sticks, a luscious floral bouquet with notes of peach nectar. Oh, fresh greens. I smell the fresh greens. White lilac, rose petal, heliotrope, and sweet balsam. I'm already itchy. Even if you do not enjoy the scent of these incense sticks, which I do, just wait until you smell the amazing scent when you burn them, bringing the very essence of an enchanted garden into your sacred space. Burn on your altar in your sacred space or during your rituals to bring in the energies of grounding and healing and to represent the element of earth. Wonderful. I'm ready to do it. Let's do it. Okay. Put some of this over here. I'm, I'm collecting a bucket. <laughs> oh my God. If you guys order from my shop, you may end up with some of this in your um, order. I do have like a, I bought a humongous freaking box of these crinkle deals. Um, so I still, I have tons of my own, <laughs> but it's like, you know, might as well, might as well recycle. Um, but I need to buy purple. I've got this craft color and um, as soon as it's gone, I'm gonna buy purple or black. All right, so then we have St. John's Wort for uh, salve for minor burns, what does it say? Contusions, ulcers, myalgia, and bruises. Um, I do very much enjoy her salves. I am so interested in making my own as well, especially because I um, subscribe to the Apothecary at Home box and the Simply, um, Simply Earth. I don't know why I had a brain fart right then. Okay, let's see what we get here. St. John's Wort Salve. St. John's Wort Salve is one of the most magical salves. Let me hold it 
up so you guys know what I'm talking about. I have seen this salve literally make burns and injuries disappear overnight. It's a great anti-inflammatory for skin issues. It has been known to relieve nerve and joint pain, oh, fibromyalgia, excuse me, bruising, contusions, ulcers, and will make minor burns disappear. And then it says, warning, St. John's work conflicts with certain medications like any blood thinner meds or antidepressants. Check with your doctor or pharmacist before using any herbal products. Do not ingest or apply topically if you are nursing or pregnant before checking with your doctor. Okay, and I think she puts that in here twice about that. I'm going to put this, uh, which <laughs> I've got tennis elbow. I think I've talked about that before. Come on, salve. All right. I've got tennis elbow. Maybe this will help. I'm just so fucking over this shit. My elbow has been messed up for, it, it feels like a year or something. It's probably been like nine months. I just want to lift weights again. Mer. Oh, I can feel it doing something. Okay. All right. Next, we have our candle. So it says connecting with earth meditation candle. So that's the front. And then on the top, it gives you a little incantation. It says, I connect to you where I stand, digging my roots deep in this land. As I call in your energy so bright, fill me with your strength of might. So mote it be. So that's that. And then let's look inside. Oh, it's pretty. It looks like some green adventuring. And is it tiger's eye? It's kind of hard to tell. And then there's like a little flower. Pretty. It smells like grass. <laughs> I think it smells like grass. Let's see. Let's see if it's made of grass. Connecting with Earth Meditation Candle. One of the most important rituals in honoring the Earth is to connect, is to connect with her by grounding yourself and sharing energy with her. During this meditation or ritual calm or, or ritual. Calm your mind and see if you can also receive messages from her. She will speak to you through the wind, trees, or anything in nature that you are connecting with now. She will heal your body and mind. Light this candle before or after your meditation to connect with the essence of earth. This candle is scented with my own earth's essence fragrance. It smells of dirt, yes, grass, and trees. It surely does. I feel like I'm outside. It is also a fantastic way to bring the essence of earth to your altar. I added a rosebud. Is that rose? Is that a rosebud? It's like purple. Um, rosebud as an offering of love to Mother Earth, a tiger's eye. Okay, that's what I thought. It's kind of a little bit hard to see, but uh, for grounding and protection and green adventuring for healing and grounding. Sprinkled with white grounded mica flakes as mica represents earth and beauty. I printed a grounding spell on the lid for you to use. If you're drawn to it, this candle is made to mimic the grounding oil. See below. Oh, I guess I just, I just, uh, ruined the surprise. Okay. So apparently this is our grounding oil and it's going to smell like dirt, grass, and trees. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, all right. So, oh, there we go. And it apparently has a rosebud in it and, um, oh, it's got tires on and then is that a like chrysanthemum? There's some there's some doohickeys in there. All right, grounding ritual oil. This or ritual oil was made during the three days of the February full moon. Use this oil to anoint yourself, your altar, statues, and other magical items to help you ground and bring in the essence of the earth. Scented with my earth's essence fragrance, a rosebud was added as an offering to Mother Earth and to represent self-love, love, and beauty. A white flower was added to represent healing, cleansing, and purity. Okay, I guess it's just a flower. Um, and a tiger's, and tiger's eye chips for grounding and protection. Oh, I guess I should smell it, right? Let's open it up. Ooh, grass, dirt, and trees. I mean, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to smell like some grass and some dirt and some trees. That's what it smells like. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> okay. 
we've got our herb of the month, which I'm sure y'all know is St. John's wort because that's what we, oh, it's powder. Okay, I'm having a hard time here. St. John's wort powder and it gives you the, um, what is it, the, um, I was gonna say the Italian name, but that's just not even right. <laughs> the, uh, shit. What? Latin name, the Latin name. <laughs> the Italian name, okay. <laughs> St. John's wort, very good, and it's powder, okay. Okay, okay. St. John's wort powder in herb jar. The Greek, oh, just kidding, Greek, Greek name, also Latin. Okay, yeah, see, I'm right. But not, not to be confused with um, the, uh, what did I say? The, uh, the pizza name, okay. The Greek name for this plant is Hy Hypericum. Also, it's Latin botanical name, which means over, my hair is driving me crazy, um, over a spirit. It was so named because it was believed to provide special protection, particularly during the summer months, when there is a tendency to feel overly expanded and adversely affected by heat and light. Later, it was associated with St. John the Baptist, regarded as a great solar adept within the Essene tradition, whose feast day is commemorated at high summer. Despite the great spiritual power of St. John the Baptist, he pointed to Jesus Christ as the very source of the sun. His famous words, I must decrease so that he may increase, refer to the descent of Christ into the earth. The alchemical significance of this great Christ mystery is reflected in the St. John's wort oil, also called the blood of Christ. The St. John's wort oil is made from a sun infusion of bright yellow blossoms of the plant. St. John's wort is an herb to dispel negativity, rid of depression and bring cheer and happiness to one's life. This positive sun filled energy works to block against dark arts or negative energy, inspiring healing and banishing sickness. It recharges the solar plexus, driving courage to an individual and balancing a healthy ego. Um, the botanical name is Hypercum Perforatum. Oh my gosh, I need a one. <laughs> Hypercum Perforatum. I feel like I'm in Hogwarts. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Botanical use, or not botanical. What the fuck? I can't read. Magical use is banishing, preventing sickness, blocking the dark arts, protection spells and negativity, courage, litha, happiness, divination, and prosperity. Element of fire, planet sun, chakra third, which is your solar plexus, and fourth is heart chakra. Magical tip. Sprinkle St. John's wort by your mirrors to repel a negative self-image. Oh, very nice. Okay, put this over here. All right, I believe we just have two more things, or, well, I think I'm missing something, y'all. Because it says there's a crystal in here, but I, you think it's in, like, my, okay, hold on. Oh, ha! <laughs> Somebody was gonna, somebody that was gonna get crinkle paper in their order from me was also gonna get uh, a crystal. <laughs> Not anymore! <laughs> Just kidding, you might still get this if you enter my next giveaway. All right, so we have a little bag, and it is a rough bloodstone. All right, very nice. Miss nice, okay. Bloodstone is not only the birthstone for March, but its powerful vibration will assist you to live your life more in touch with the earth and its energy. Its energy will aid you to clear fear and help you to face challenges. Bloodstone is known to embody magical and mystical powers as it is an audible oracle. This means it gives off a sound to guide the user. I'll let you guys know. This is an excellent crystal to help you feel a stronger sense of determination. Bloodstone will, aid, Bloodstone will aid you to regain your personal power and help to instill courage, comfort, and strength and have a good energy to raise self-esteem. It will help to build the tenacity, strength of mind, and the resolve to do what needs to be done within your individual reality. Uh, it corresponds with the base chakra, um, birthstone march, zodiac of Aries, Libra, and Pisces, planet Mars, element Earth, 
numerical vibration of number four and six. All right, I'm gonna put this on my selenite plate over her. All right, now I think we have two, th two things left. So it appears that we have a ceramic smudge holder that is the tree of life. So we have this box. Okay. <laughs> this this is a oh the interesting packing um <laughs> supply. I don't know where the fuck to put this. All right. Actually, I think I'm gonna move this box over her. And let's see our smudge bowl. Awesome. So, very nice. And then I think you can put a candle in there. Like your smudge is gonna be too big to sit. You might be able to have a smudge that will fit in that little hole there, but, um, but also, you know, just do that. Cool, very good. Move that over here, you're so darn. All right, last but not least, we have whatever, oh, you know what? I forgot to read about the, the bowl. Let's read about the bowl. You gotta read about the bowl. <laughs> so, have you guys seen the, um, I don't know it, where it originated, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, I don't know how you use that. Um, <laughs> there is a, a video of this little boy who's like southern and he's like I want to pet that dog I want to pet that dog so we, we always say that around here and I was yeah so we're gonna read about this bowl all right anyways <laughs> you guys are like girl you crazy oh I forgot to read about no I didn't just kidding I did that all right where's the bowl tree of life smoke bundle holder I love this beautiful pot that can either be used to hold your herb smoke bundle sticks or even used as an offering bowl on your altar. If you collect your ashes for making your black protection salts, then this is perfect for catching all your ashes. Oh, that's a great idea. From your ritual smoke bundles sticks. This bowl is ceramic and was made in India. Perfect. All right, now let's get it here. I think I just saw what it is and I may have one of these. Okay, so I think I have something similar, but I don't have this one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Look! Look at her. We got a Mother Earth. She reminds me of my tattoo. What is on the back? So... Oh, it looks like she just has like jewelry in her hair. Cool, and oh, there's a little butterfly on that side. Very nice, and she's kind of like a, she's a copper color. Cool, although she looks like she has janky teeth. <laughs> Girl, that's okay. You, Mother Earth didn't get braces, but this is cool. All right, beautiful, yay! Thank you, Sacred Space Crate. Oh, where can I put her? You know what, I think I'm gonna put her in the other room, actually. Maybe, hmm. She might go in the living room, or she might go in my, my bedroom slash office. Okay, I'm gonna read about her. All right, Mother Earth Statue. This is a beautiful statue that honors our great mother. It represents birth, power, protection, nurturing, healing, love, and, excuse me, life and love. Place this, blah, 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 place this statue on your altar or sacred space and surround her with your beautiful offerings. Look at so excited. I have a moon shelf in my bedroom that, she might be too big for it, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see. All right, I think I have read everything so, uh, bird. Yep. all right so it says I hope that you're able to connect with the magical items in the 
this sacred earth box. May your month be filled with newfound hope, love, and stronger connection with our great mother. Next month's theme is sacred love. Ooh. Sacred love is self-love and empowering your divine feminine within. There's an item that is gender specific in this box. So if you are male or identify as a male, then please email me and let me know so that I can customize your box for you. That is awesome. Thank you. I mean, I identify as a woman, you know, obviously, but um, that's cool that she's going to give that option. Feel free to email me anytime with any questions, comments, suggestions you may have. I love hearing from my subscribers. Many blessings. Mrs. Melissa, Sacred Space Crate. Dur -dur 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 -dur. Okay, I was going to show my tattoo since she's kind of a little bit like that. And obviously, it's... So there is my tattoo. So my... Um, my... Vision, this is the Empress from the tarot, and um, she's often depicted as pregnant, so we did that, and she's holding the flames of creation. So she's kind of a Mother Earth um, uh, Empress tattoo situation. So anyways, um, she's pretty healed, so I wanted to show you guys, <laughs> which you guys have kind of seen it off and on. So anyways, guys, that is it for our Sacred Space Crate for March 2022. What's your favorite? I mean, goddess statue, Mother Earth is my favorite. Of course, the smudge um, little guy here is pretty cool. So Yay! I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Um, do you get this box? What's your favorite item? Do you want this box? I always want it. <laughs> and guys, if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, following along in uh, my YouTube journey and seeing all the fun things that I get. And I love giving back to you guys. That's why I give like so much stuff in my giveaways. And um, again, if you guys wouldn't mind supporting me, my my witchy shop at, on Etsy is linked below. It's Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. And I've got lots more videos coming your way. I have started my tarot tutorials. Um, I've been making like a PowerPoint situation. And I want to kind of get a couple going and then I'm hoping to put it out. What is today? I'm hoping to put it. I kind of want to put it out on Tuesdays because I want to kind of do Tarot Tuesdays. That's that's kind of in my mind, but we'll see. I might do something else on Tarot Tuesday. So um, I've got after tonight, guys, I've got seven days off. So hopefully I can get some shit done. I got to I got to get my bath bomb lab so I can start making bath bombs. That'll be um my store will be opening back up, my, my Bath and Body Company. Um, but I think I'm also going to put some witchy bath bombs in my witchy store. So anyways, I digress. Um, if you guys loved this box, I will link last month's box right here for you guys to watch. And just after you do that, just watch all my videos. It helps me out. <laughs> all right, guys. Also, thumbs up. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to leave because I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing here. But you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.